A warm welcome to all my sweet little children. I'm hoping that you are all happy, healthy and safe. So did you try and make all these origami creations during the holidays? I do hope you did. If you didn't, subscribe to our channel and watch those videos and try to make as many as possible. So today see what we are going to make. It's a kusudama flower ball. It's called a kusudama flower ball. So that's what we are making today. So we need a few flowers like this. We need 32 flowers. Now this smaller one I have made using two flowers at once. So we need 64 flowers for that. So the flower making part isn't too hard. Parents please help your child to make these flowers. So it's quite easy. You can use a colored paper so that you can see the two colors. Shall we make it and see? Now what we need is a piece of paper with two colors or one color is fine. So it's easy if it's two colors because the uh, sides are easier to handle when it has two sides. I want more yellow in my flower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the white side to my side and fold it like this. Then open it up and do the same thing on the other side. Then now the colored side is on top and then fold it so that you get a triangle. Do the same thing to the other side as well. Now open it up. Now I know you children know how to do this. How to make squares using that shape. Now press it down. Then this opening side has to be opposite to us. It should be on the top. And the side that is not opening is uh, on our side. Okay. So the top flap edge comes and meets at the middle. The other top flaps edge. Now push your hand in like this, just like the ayame flower that we made. So push it down this piece so that its line comes and stands on the line from the middle. And then fold it back and do the same thing on the other side. Put your finger in and then push it down so that the lines align. The lines are on top of each other and then fold it back again. Do the same thing on the other side. This edge comes to the middle here. Then this edge to the middle here. And then put your finger in and push it down so that you have the two lines on top of each other. Fold it back, do the same to the other side. Now look, every side is closed. So you can take any side and this edge comes to the middle like this. so that we can see the white part of the paper. Do the same to the other side. Now this flap that is appearing has to be pushed down, brought down like this. By keeping it like that, now turn it to the other side. And now slowly fold it in like we did on the other side. Now 
now you have to press in all the folding lines properly do the same thing to the other sides as well always press in so that your flower looks neat and tidy Fold it downwards, do the same thing to those two. Now see, it has been done on all four sides. Now it looks like a beautiful flower being formed. Now slowly open it up like this. See our flower? This, the speciality of this flower is we are folding it a lot and then we open it up completely by putting it together. Now we are going to fold it to the other side. Now look, it's a bit complex the way how to put it together. Now if you draw two lines here like a cross you know there are four squares here now this middle line here on the other side look at it so you will see three lines yama orizens so these folding lines are called yama orizen or mountain folds so now put those three together and then press it down now look at this there are two parts coming together here. See? Now the two triangles here. We have to, while holding it like this, hold it from the middle, turn it around and the triangles you have to fold inside. Now the part that was on the outside has to be brought inside and then pressed down on the flower. One side is done. Now here the right on the opposite side of the flower the petal needs to be created. The three mountain folds need to be put together then press down on it and hold it from the middle look at the middle look at the inside there are two triangles folded downwards and even the bigger fold comes downwards and now press down on it now there are fl uh, flaps that are remaining so the mountain folds are on the two edges so do the same thing to that The big triangle goes into the smaller triangle's place. Now everything is together. Now you have something like this. These two corners need to be brought here then. Now push the little triangles here that are sticking out now our flower is complete see from that basic shape we have got a beautiful flower we need 32 flowers like this and when you put them together like this using glue you can make this flower without an issue right so first make a circle using 10 flowers then 
add a little more to the top then add some more to the top so you will get half a circle then if you make two of those you can make a complete ball and put in a little thread to the middle see I know it's hard to make 32 but if you do make it it'll be all worth it because it'll look nice and you'll feel very happy that you made it by yourself so children we make more of these goodbye